Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. Drew and I just finished our hot girl walk. It's like 9.30 on a Saturday morning. And we actually got some exciting packages for the back patio. And it's our patio furniture. We're so excited. So he's out there like sweeping off the patio right now. We got a rug, we got a table, we got some chairs. We still have to get an umbrella, but it's gonna be like one of the final parts of like our little back patio makeover. We actually have friends from Arizona coming to visit this week or like later this week. You'll probably see it in like a couple vlogs from now. Um, so we wanna make sure that it's like nice and ready. Also for just when like our LA friends come over and like wanna have a drink out on the patio or like have dinner out there or whatever. So we're excited. We've been kind of waiting and we wanted to like find the right stuff. So hopefully this is the right stuff. <laughs> And then we'll definitely want to go back to the Melrose Trading Post and like get some more plants for outside because all the ones we got last weekend were literally just used in the house. So yeah, we're feeling great. We've got some endorphins going. I got my little Lululemon set on. If you haven't seen it already, it'll be in a main channel video coming up soon. And then this is just Drew's fanny pack that I stole. We got some Alfred this morning. We just walked like, I don't know, two, three miles, something like that. I need to hydrate. And let's go set up this furniture. This rug is an oval rug from rugsusa.com, by the way. Hello, trash. It's super cute. Building, oh, um, it feels table. so nice. Let's get in there. Okay. Look at that Allen wrench skill. Look at that. Like nice my thing. first rodeo. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> next day it's actually like close to 1 p.m. we're getting ready to head out because we're gonna have a little Sunday fun day with our friends we have been super busy this morning like ordering groceries doing our laundry all the typical Sunday things we didn't go to the farmers market or the trading post today which is sad but we were just getting stuff done we're actually like planning out a room makeover for Drew's office. I haven't really shown it much in vlogs, number one, because he just goes in there to work, and number two, because it hasn't like really been decorated yet, and we want to make it like a full-blown like comics, anime, fantasy, D&D, like haven, basically. So we ordered some stuff for that this morning. We actually switched some stuff around in the living room. I'll just show you like a couple updates. So here is the current status of the living room. It still needs like more added to it, but we hung up, we found some command hooks that are for like really heavy duty pieces. Um, these pieces are each only like a couple pounds, but we were just scared to hang it before. So we tried these and they look pretty cute. They're going to fall on the couch if they fall. Like the couch is pushed up against the wall, so it's not that big of a deal. We have Miss Taylor Swift Red, of course. We have Foster the People, which is one of Drew's favorite bands. And those are the tickets to when he saw them twice with his best friend, Hannah. And then this is like a digital, a video disc. I'm not sure, but it just looks really cool. And we got it in Little Tokyo. And then we moved our gallery wall over here. Um, we ordered a frame for that, which is coming. And then we'll like add some more pieces as we go. And I, I totally hear what everyone was saying about how we need like bigger pieces, but they have to be virtually weightless <laughs> in order for them to be on this wall. Cause we just don't trust it. So we're going to add more to that as time goes on. We're actually getting this rug deep cleaned tomorrow. Thank God, because having a dog, like 
I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's just very discolored. Moo is um, very content at the moment. And then over here, we moved Drew's great grandpa's like chest. I think I showed that. And then we just hung up a little mirror right here. Hello. And then from Drew's office, he wasn't using this nightstand. We'll most likely end up donating it or like selling it. But for now, it's just going there. <laughs> the window's closed right now because we're about to leave. And then here's what our little patio is looking like. Oh my God, it's so cute out there. I'm just getting ready to head out the door. We're actually just doing like a super basic day. We're like going to the Grove and then maybe like a rooftop or something. I'm wearing this top from Aerie, American Eagle, something like that. Just like simple strap crop top. And then my jeans are from Good American. These are the good 90s jeans. They're the best jeans I've ever worn hands down. By far. I got my Nike Dunks. I got these secondhand on Poshmark and then I got this hat on Poshmark as well. So that's the OOTD. Now we're gonna go head out and have a couple drinks. We're gonna pick up our friends on the way and have a great Sunday fun day. So let's do it. <laughs> everybody today is a uh, Tuesday Wednesday it is Wednesday so it's a couple days later and I am just putting my shoes on right now to head out the door I thought I saw someone walking by my window vlogging but they were just facetiming I'm headed out this morning to get my Botox touched up which is exciting and something that like I don't know I feel like people should be more open talking about I'm 34 years old I don't know if it's still considered preventative at this point if I already have wrinkles but um i did get botox I sh i've talked about it on this channel but i got it for the first time in january of 2022 and then i got it again in april so i'm basically doing it every like three to four months and just doing it it's just something that makes me feel good and i just think like more people should do that there's so much cute stuff happening outside my window anyway i'm distracted um and i think more people should do that i think more people should do things that make them feel good anyways i don't feel the need to explain it at all but i'm just finally gotten ready I got ready in about four minutes. I can't obviously wear makeup, so I just put a little brow product and mascara on, and then I threw on this dress, which is like my go-to when I just want to be covered. So here is my look. This dress I got from Urban Outfitters, I think last year or maybe the year before that, and then my white platform Converse. We're gonna head out the door. I'm gonna grab a mask, my glasses to drive in the car, and we're gonna head in and get some Botox. You'll be good, okay? Be good while I'm gone. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. All right, back in the car now. I went to the UPS store to drop off some returns. And now I think I might go get my car washed. I have been in need of like an errands day for a while, but my experience was great. I actually got Disport this time, I think it's called. And it's like a faster acting, longer lasting version of Botox. Like they're essentially the same injectable. So I was like, sure, I'll try it, why not? But yeah, I'm gonna look up a car wash place. She is in need, honey, it has been. Oh wow, there's bird poop. Um, I had to valet my car at this parking garage, like where I just went to the office and um, it was embarrassing. So let's look up a car wash nearby. Okay, all of those have one star reviews, so we'll try again. Why do they all have such bad reviews? Ooh. That's something that I've noticed since moving to LA is like every place I look at has one star reviews. <laughs> like every clothing store, every carpet cleaner that I look up, like every single, oh my God, wait, I totally forgot to mention that. Um, the carpet cleaner that we booked just never showed up just never showed up and then I texted him and I was like are you gonna come and he was like no I have another appointment I was just like okay like everywhere that I've looked up has like one star reviews I don't understand nail salons fascinating anyways this is entirely pointless I'm gonna get my shit together 
and we'll reconvene later. It's a bit later. I'm at home now. It's 425. Drew actually just walked out to get his hair cut. So he'll be back in a little bit. And we actually have guests coming tomorrow, which is so exciting. Our friends from Arizona are going to come visit us. They're the friends that we went to Disneyland with back in May. And they're our first visitors. My mom was actually supposed to come here a couple weeks ago, but her like pet sitter plans fell through. So she's actually coming next weekend. But anyways, um, we got to get this house cleaned up. First things first, we have to transform Drew's office into a guest room, but we can't do that until tomorrow when he's off work because at work his like job requires him to be on Zoom calls all day and stuff and like, I don't know, kind of unprofesh to have a bed in the background. Although like, is it? I don't know. Anyways, we're going to start by doing some laundry. So I'm going to like make sure, I don't know. I really love when I go visit people and they take extra steps to just make me feel like comfortable and I'm big on cleanliness. So we're going to clean that room really, really well. And I'm also going to freshly wash all of the bedding that they're going to be sleeping on. So we have some sheets. I also really actually really need to wash these bath mats in my bathroom because they're cute but they get dirty really fast so let's start there just real life here um, these are very dirty <laughs> like kind of gross so let's give you two a nice little bath and we'll start there I feel like there's been a lot of cleaning and laundry in this vlog but honestly it's just kind of my life i feel like i'm always trying to make sure that my apartment is clean and it's just never clean especially having pets it's so much fun do you put fabric softener on rugs i don't know but i'm gonna do it okay next i am going to go through this linen closet and see what kind of linens they need i think these are not the right ones we need to find the queen size ones because basically our like solution for the time being because we used to have like a set guest room at our old place and we never used it so we're just gonna do like a makeshift thing so we have this oh i actually need to wash this this is great we have this um fold-up mattress that we actually bought years ago to sleep when we would go visit my mom's house. It's a queen size and it just like folds up. I mean, it's pretty big. Oh, I vlogged with it in my back seat once. But um, yeah, we've started using it. We were using it at our place in Arizona because Drew's nieces would spend the night sometimes and then we brought it here for our guests. And then this is actually like a bed frame that we'll just put together and take apart. It's like a quick and easy one that we'll do for when our guests come in town, but we'll probably just leave it up because my mom's coming next weekend. So we'll get that set up tomorrow, but yeah, okay. So they're gonna need a comforter. Definitely gonna need some sheets. The queen size sheets are up here, I think. So we'll just make sure everything is just like fresh, smelling like downy, you know? Like that's just, I love that. And then I'm like trying to think of other things, like maybe put out some chargers, some phone chargers. We do have one that has like an extremely long cord, so we can set that out. But in the meantime, I think it's just like, we need to do some cleaning. So I'm gonna start by cleaning this bathroom, I'm pretty sure, and then we'll go from there. almost six o'clock and we're gonna make some dinner. So we have some tilapia we need to use and I found a recipe. Drew's in the shower right now. He got his hair cut. He said he was itchy afterwards, which like if I were a guy or if I had short hair, I would be itchy too. But anyways, we're gonna do like a garlic lemon butter tilapia. I think we might do some air fried, either potatoes or sweet potatoes and then some veg. I think we have like asparagus, we have some broccoli, but one of those two we'll make with it. Okay, actually scratch that because we don't have a lemon. <laughs> I thought we did. So we will do a tried and true fave, which is lemon pepper parmesan. Sure, why not? Mine, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil just so it has something to stick. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> something to stick to. And on both of these, I'll do salt and pepper. Mine, I'm gonna do lemon pepper and Parmesan cheese. 
That's literally it. You can, I used to mix it together in a bowl. Now I just put it on there. I'll just like press it in with my spoon. And that's pretty much it. I might do like a little bit of paprika. Drew's gonna put, he's gonna bake his in this chili onion crunch. Do a little paprika, a little bit of oregano. Let's just have fun with it. We have the oven preheated and then I think I'm gonna air fry the potatoes. <laughs> Show us your new haircut. Let's see, here he is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fantastic. We got some asparagus going. This is just a classic olive oil, salt, and pepper. We're just gonna saute this up. We have the fish in the oven. I almost said the microwave. Yeah, <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> and then we actually have, Drew did these like TikTok potatoes where you boil it and then you smash it and air fry it. So we're doing that. All right, here's how it turned out. I'm dipping my potatoes in barbecue sauce because that's my toxic trait. Let me give this a taste test and see how I did. Mm. Pretty good dinner. I'll give it a solid eight out of ten. Mm -hmm. you So like say as a DM, basically I set um, the skill level for each task. So say you're trying to dodge out of a way of a boulder. So in my head, I put down like you need a 12 or higher. You don't know that, mm -hmm. right? All right, success. Got my character all picked out. Drew's actually gonna go finish painting the rest of the characters. But for those of you that have any interest, <laughs> honestly know what this vlog was like it's just very my life at the moment kind of a mishmash of a bunch of different things but i hope you enjoyed it nonetheless i'm actually going to hop in this bathtub that i freshly cleaned and just like soak and watch some tiktoks thank you so much for being here and for hanging out with me during this vlog the next vlog will be really fun because we're going to go around town and do some fun stuff with our friends so i'm excited about that but yeah i will see you very soon in the next vlog love you bye